Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Are you feeling grumpy? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm just just raring to go. Uh, the company hasn't gotten our uh, drug test, our hair follicle drug test back yet. So we finished orientation, and now we sit and wait mm -hmm. until those tests come in, and then they can assign us a leader so we can get in a truck and go right. learn. So we thought in the meantime we would make a video showing you what uh, Kevin is going to take with him in terms of nourishment. Yeah, in the last video I packed my clothes, so that was one big duffel, and it, it took up a lot of room because my sleeping bag and bedding is in there. Right. Um, and, and your I toiletries. Just, you know, otherwise it could have fit in a much smaller bag, but I didn't feel like walking around with a sleeping bag. Right. So that's probably going to be the same, you know, size and everything. Once I lay out my sleeping bag on the bed, then that's that bag will take up less room and, and won't kick me out of the bed. Right, because so it's the a totally second, collapsible bag. Yeah, it, it folds very flat. The second thing is food, because I don't know how often we'll be stopping for food, if we're going to do any shopping, if my leader is one who likes to eat at restaurants or truck stops all the time, and I'm not, I'm not into that food. It, it doesn't sit well with me. Uh, and I, I want to stay healthy on the road. So what I've got here is just some basic stuff. Like obviously I can't bring a lot of a lot of refrigerated items. So these are dry things uh, that don't require refrigeration. So I've got like cans of sardines. Wait, wait, can you hold them? Like, so because yeah. I kind of have to go in it and out. It says sardines. Whoa, whoa, glare. There we go. Okay. Sardines and you have Sardines, two I can, packs of those. I can make a half a meal out of those, so those could be like good breakfast. protein, protein and oil. You get the sardines and oil because that's really good for you. And I can have those for breakfast or suppers. Mm -hmm. Right next to that are coconut water because I like drinking coconut water. They got a lot of electrolytes, a lot of vitamins. It's very very good for you. Right, and we always get the ones without the sugar. Yeah, no sugar, just coconut water. Yeah. Freshly squeezed coconuts. <laughs> yeah. These are granola bars, uh, but they don't have sugar. It's just oats and grains and nuts mm -hmm. held yep. together with a little honey, so you're not getting a lot of processed elements and a lot of sugars that will right. turn you into a diabetic. And those are, uh, we get those at Costco. Those are at Costco. And, uh, and actually, we got all three of these things at Costco. Yeah. This is my stash of cardamom seeds, which are really good in your coffee or tea, or just put a handful of them in your cheek. Right. And, and freshens your breath, gives you lots of nutrients yeah. and vitamins. And this is just the container we're using. Yeah. So we actually bought these like in a bag, and we just put them in there. Right. This is a bag with my vitamins. You know, Ooh, as I take, I take supplements every day. And what we did is we put them in individual little bags. So as he uses them, the whole thing collapses. So you're not taking like less space in exactly. a bunch of pill bottles and things. Yeah. And, uh, and a bowl. In, in the time of COVID, it's good to make sure you keep your vitamin C up to fight, fight illnesses and keep you healthy as much as possible. And zinc. Zinc. Mm -hmm. Manganese. Okay. These are, this is uh, just an assortment of tea bags. I don't drink coffee, but I like a cup of tea in the morning. So, all right, some so you got like peppermint, turmeric, licorice tea. There's some disposable forks and spoons. Here's a bowl so I could whip together a meal. Mm -hmm. uh, this is little uh, chocolatey, nutty snacks. Yeah, we just found these yesterday at Whole Foods. Yeah, I thought they're I'd try them out. Yeah, they're intended for making smoothies, but I think Kevin can just pop them. Yeah, pop one in your mouth for a right. treat every now and then. The chocolate is. As a stimulant, so keep you from getting drowsy while you're working, but don't take chocolate later in the day. You want to be able to sleep soundly and always check the sugar content yeah. and preservatives. This is uh, super greens, just some powders that I can put in water to make uh, very nutritious drinks. Right. Get, some, get some dried vegetable and leafy green nutrients. Because Since I can't carry salads and you know greens on the truck, that's just a sort of a dehydrated form. Yeah. And wait one sec, one sec. So when we go out in your truck in the future, mm -hmm. then we're hoping to have more fresh produce. Yeah, we'll have a fridge and we can we can shop yeah. and buy but a lot of a lot of good. Again, greens. right now, you know, you don't even know who your 
uh, trainer is going to be, no, and you don't know what his or her eating habits are going to be. Yeah, and I don't want to. So you need to be prepared. I don't know if I'll even have if he has a fridge or if I'll have space in that fridge to put my stuff. So this way it's safe. I, I can keep all this stuff in my bunk and just yeah make my meals. So when we're that. here, we don't really do that many powders. You know, no. sometimes I kind of go through phases where I'll do it for a while, making lots of smoothies with lots of powders, but. I haven't been in that phase for for a while right now, but this is a this is a great idea, you know, just to supplement. Uh, even if you're not having the opportunity to eat all these yummy, licious, fresh things, mm. you have a powder, and then we have another, another powder. Powder drink. This is a protein powder. It's got chocolate, so it's tasty, mm -hmm. but it gives you gives you that protein and a few other ingredients. Let's see the ingredients on this Pea one. Pea protein, cane sugar, cocoa powder. Coconut cream powder and a few natural ingredients. Uh, yeah, could be a breakfast drink, yeah. I guess. And we'll let you know what we think of these specific ones, right? We could do a yeah. little review down the road and see yeah. what you thought. Moving along here, these are pre-cooked meals, like you, you know, you get in the army, you get uh, MREs or whatever. You, all you have to do is warm this up. You don't have to boil water and cook it for 20 minutes or whatever. Yeah. It's just warming it up. You could do it in a microwave or a pot of hot water. It's already cooked. You just open up the bag and start dishing it out. So you got lentils and grains, and rice, and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. This is coconut oil, right, which, which we put in that container. I think is a good supplement to your diet because you got to get the right oils and things like that in your body and mm -hmm. uh, low cholesterol and all that sort of thing. This is my. Himalayan salt in a shaker, mm -hmm. a couple of ramen noodle, you know, just add hot water and you got a meal in yeah. this cup And we've here. never had these before, but again yesterday when we were looking yeah. to see what kind of things Kevin could take and you did spend a long time looking at the ingredients, making sure these things didn't have a bunch of preservatives and colorings and chemicals, mm -hmm. so these turned out to be um, the ones he chose. So again, let us know what you think of them. The cow nibs is a good treat, snack, etc. And I could I could put it in oatmeal, or I could put it in you know just just grab a small yeah. teaspoonful and chew on them, and it's a good right. snack. So rather than like a Red Bull or something like that, yeah. this is actually a superfood. It's very and... very healthy, but it's also a bit of a stimulant. Yeah. So it helps helps keep you awake when you want to be awake. It's a good yeah. thing to have in the morning and, and pep you up for the day. It's better than a cup of coffee. <laughs> Bag of mini oranges, mandarins, mandarins. So right. they, you know, get fresh vitamin C, and uh, uh, they don't really need to be refrigerated as long as I don't keep them in my bunk for three weeks and right. they start going all. Moldy. And you don't need you don't need a knife to open them. Nope. You can just do them by hand, and it'll prevent you from getting scurvy. You could get scurvy on the high seas if you don't eat your mandarins. That's right. Right. <laughs> water. I don't know the situation with water, so I'll just bring this gallon. Uh, and this can be refilled whenever I, I find a water spout somewhere. Yeah. But I don't know if the if the leader had like he buys the bottles, the little bottles, and buys them by the case, or if we stop for water breaks or whatever. But hydration is very important, so I'm I'm just going to start out with something and then see where it, right. where it goes after. And that. somebody had told us to just buy a case of the little bottles, but we're pretty keen on recycling, and I'm really unhappy about how many little plastic bottles are used and people just throw in the garbage and it all ends up in our oceans and microplastics and all mm -hmm. of that so kevin you know we bought a kind of a sturdy one yeah see how it's got that sturdy handle it's got a good handle it's a so it's we tougher are, plastic we are so... hoping that he just keeps refilling yeah that. i can reuse that and i don't want to come into somebody else's truck with a big case of water <laughs> right. and he's already got two and where do we put this one and i don't know this the circumstances so this is just the minimum for yeah. now okay then... breakfast Rolled oats. You can have oatmeal for breakfast every day. And in my trusty bowl. Oh, and your trusty bowl. With my plastic spoon. Oh uh, yeah. Not throw so good throw some plastic cacao spoons, nibs but... on it and a little moringa powder and you got a mm. you got a good breakfast there. And those again, we got those at Whole Foods actually, because these ones are gluten free. Which right. is important. I mean, you can never guarantee it like for celiac disease, gluten free level, but definitely for you know, somebody who's just staying away from gluten. Yeah. Um, for other reasons, that is a good idea. All right, what else you got? Some of my favorite snacks are nuts. I love pecans. Yes, he does. Almonds are very good. I'm yep. into, I like uh, cashews and sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and all that, but I'm just gonna bring these because I don't, I don't have a lot of space and these are highly portable and will not perish after I open the bag. So I can just scoop out a couple of handfuls in the afternoon mm -hmm. when I get a little munchy, you know, and supper's mm -hmm. still a long way off. 
And for things like that, he's going to take some large Ziploc bags because, again, once they're open, you know, they'll you be wanna... all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so I'll you dump gotta... them into and dump them into bags so it's uh, more secure. Yeah, and then back to toiletries. Body wipes, or what do you call them? Baby wipes, or man wipes, or whatever. It's just a a moist uh, tissue. So if you get up in the morning and you don't have a shower, you can freshen up a little bit, throw away your little man wipe and face the day without being all stinky and face your trainer. And strange fungus growing in the dark places. Oh boy. Uh, these are laundry, what do they call them? Pods or packs? Uh, packs, detergent. Dishwasher detergent packs. Oh, oopsie. Yeah, so I got these, I got these for doing laundry because I, mean, I don't want to carry liquid laundry soap. Uh, yeah, so but those are actually for the dishwasher, dishwasher yeah. <laughs> which we don't have a dishwasher. I didn't read the fine print because they were right mm. next to the dishwashing liquid. You mean they were right next to the right next laundry, to the laundry detergent. detergent. So we'll have to, <laughs> we're going to go and see what Walmart has today. If I can get these little, these little packs, you, when you're doing your laundry, you just throw one in. We and, keep it real for you here, yeah. people. Yeah, so that's, that's the idea. That's a, that's a glitch. Yeah, we'll fix that today. Because <laughs> now I have time. Uh, looks like I'll have most of the day before I find out if our uh, hair tests come back. So I'm gonna pack all this in my in my duffel over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only other thing would be I th I've, I've got some uh, carrots and radishes, fresh fresh produce that I can peel and wash, and then put in Ziploc bags and just throw those in just before I run out the door. So they'll stay in the fridge until then. But they'll they'll keep a couple of days too. So I'll have some vegetable sticks for munchies yeah yeah some fresh produce good idea it'll hold me till i find out what the story is where we're going to shop or if we're going to shop right you know. and actually they did say that often you have contact with your trainer before you actually connect yeah, with I'll... them in person so you can probably kind of ask them like hey you know what's your kind of routine around food and how yeah. often do you stop how should often I, how should often i bring do five gallons of water should i yeah. And do you even have room for this stuff here in your truck? And you know what? To get off on a good foot too, you could even ask him or her if there's anything you could bring along that they haven't had a chance, you know, because mm -hmm. maybe they're in their big vehicle and can't go to a, like a nice store. So maybe you can even say, hey, you want me to bring anything for you? Well, that's something my wife would do because she's very thoughtful. <laughs> Luckily, you're married to her. So yeah. now I have passed that along to you and all our viewers. Always good to start things off on the right foot, mm -hmm. um, and it's a you know it's a caring thing to do. So that's it. Uh, we are still gonna go to Walmart this morning because I think Kevin is considering maybe taking a, a little extra blanket, and you need a pillow, yeah. and uh, apparently now you need some kind of detergent. Yep. Yeah. And we'll need to buy a dishwasher now that we have these nice little dishwashing pods. I don't know where we're going to fit it here in the RV. Hmm. Right here where you sleep. Oh, that's well, actually, only, you're leaving. That's the only space You're left leaving, here. so uh, maybe right. Oh, that's a good corner right there. Mm. Good idea. <laughs> All right, so there you see it, folks. This is Kevin's uh, food plan for now. Let's we... hope it fits the yeah. bag. We'll see. Otherwise, just start eating. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll hopefully make a follow-up video and give you some reviews on some of these products and that's it remember if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if you have questions or comments please put them below and if you got value if you learned something if you just enjoyed watching us uh, on this food tour please subscribe oh wow that gets really bright with the light there that was just like a beaming is it? oh my god How bright is it? <laughs> <laughs> the bright light of the new ring on the phone. And I don't mean ringtone, I mean the light ring. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Anything else? No, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, thanks for joining us. With love. <laughs> Kevin's giving you his grumpy face again. <laughs> Can we go? Can we go now? Bye. Bye. From Kevin and Tanya. With love.